All right, we got the full official NBA playoffs and play in bracket. The season is done, and we are set. Let's see what it's playoffs. talking about. So we're going to go through the standings and go through who's playing who. And we're going to start with the east side in the playing tournament. We've got Miami versus Atlanta in Miami. Winner gets the seventh seed. And then we've got Toronto oh. versus Chicago in Toronto. Winner plays the loser of... Bro, the Sixers and the Nets? How did the Nets make the playoffs and the Mavericks did? Bro? That is insane, bro. The Nets literally have JV players on their squad this second. And they're in the sixth seed, which is a decent seed to be in. Versus the Sixers. Then you got the Knickerbockers with the uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Miami and then whoever, the uh, the Celtics and Bucks. Seed, the winner of Miami. Bro said uh, Mikal Bridges is carrying. Versus Atlanta. Okay. Will play <laughs> Whatever Boston. floats the boat, bro. And okay. The winner of the loser between the 7 versus 8 and the winner of 9 versus 10 will play. Damn. The, the Bulls and the Raptors in the plan. And then the Cavs will play the Knicks. And Philly will play Brooklyn. Philly have home court. Cleveland have home court. The Bucks and Celtics have home court. And now we're going to the West. This is the one that had a lot of significance today. Yeah, the better crazy. Games definitely. Okay, the so the day. Warriors, my Warriors, are playing the Sat Kings, who do not deserve to be the third ranked spot. Bro, how, bro? Easiest record by far they had this season, bro. Absolutely fake stats. The set, bro, this is not 2002, nigga. Bro, is this the Mike Bibby days and Jason Williams days? Bro, am I about to flip on the TV and end one street balls back on television, bro? The Sacramento Kings are the third ranked team in the Western Conference. This is crazy. Too bad they're going to waste the entire regular season that they focus on to get swept by the Warriors. This, bro, the, the, if you really think the Kings are going to hold their weight against the Warriors, please lay off whatever drugs you're doing. At most, the Kings are going to get one win, and I'll probably get that in the first game. And then, you, and then everybody on social media is just going to have this crazy um, like plan and agenda push or whatever, talking about, oh, the Warriors are done, the dynasty's over with, it's over with. Going to continue to bash the Warriors until they go to game two, and then we win the game three, and then we win the game four, and then we win, and then it's over with. There's no way the Kings are keeping up. They have no experience. Everybody on their starting lineup, I believe, is like under like 25 years old. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my man Fox Darren. We follow each other, man, but it's the playoff times, man. Trash talking is big here in the full effect. Uh, my man Fox, I don't even think that Fox is going to even hold his weight in the playoffs. Hey, Fox, hey, use this as motivation, man. Look, we follow each other. Don't take nothing to offense, but my man Fox... You're playing the defending champion Golden State Warriors. This is the first time the Kings have been in the playoffs, bro. Like, do you realize? I want you guys to go back and look at, like, the entire time history. Do you know how much things have changed in the entire world itself? Technology, the food, the way people think, social media, everything. The Kings are not experienced for this. They're done for. So, that rant is over with. Now, um, you got the uh, the Pelicans and the OKC. Regular season. They look like they're in the plan. You got the Lakers and the Timberwolves. This OK, I ain't going to lie. This OKC Pelicans game might be uh, kind of good. I thought the Pelicans got knocked out. No, they just got knocked down to the ninth seed. So now the um, who we watch, the Timberwolves. Damn, really the Wolves may have screwed themselves over. Because if the Wolves would have lost... They would have been playing the Thunder, which I think the Thunder, this is going to be a blowout game. The Thunder don't, like, SGA is going to put a 40-point triple-double, but the Thunder don't have anybody else that's playoff-worthy and, you know, experience-wise. I think the Pelicans might come out with this. Ingram might go off. They have a better, playing solid the in the team. First round. The Same. Lakers, I ain't going to lie, the Lakers are going to be full-on sweats, bro. And especially with, I think, didn't the Lakers, no, they didn't lose to the Wolves that one time when Beverly was celebrating, over-celebrating. Cremento but versus Golden State in the first I round. think the Lakers win this one. If the La I ain't going to lie, the Lakers lose this to the Wolves, it's going to be a long summer for my man LeBron in 80. <laughs> Let that be known. The the Pelicans, so they've got. A and then you got the, uh, the 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 Clippers and the Sun, the Phoenix Buns. Yeah, the Buns might just have this. No PG. I don't think the Clippers, unless Kawhi is putting up forty. Second life if they lose in the playing tournament, that'll be in LA. And then we've got the Pelicans versus OKC in New Orleans. The winner of that plays the loser of Lakers versus Timberwolves. The winner of Lakers versus Timberwolves plays the Grizzlies in the first round. Hopefully, well, either way, the Lakers or the Timberwolves both have a bit of 
history with the Grizzlies, so they'll be a massive. No, I series. definitely will want the Lakers the to play the Grizzlies. In the plane will play Denver. My predictions: I think Philly sweep. All right, y'all. Let's do these quick predictions, man. What y'all predicting right now? Comment down your predictions. Get your little what do they call parlay brackets? <laughs> uh, NBA bracket, just not March Madness, obviously. But you get what I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna picture how this is gonna go. All right, so let's start out with the East first. You already know who my pick is for the West, obviously. But let's go for the uh, the East first, then we go to the West. Um, I got the uh, the Bulls winning against the Raptors, and then they play the Bucks. This goes to about six games. The Bucks wins this. The Bulls, not too many experience, and the Bulls have injuries. Um, no Lonzo Ball. Um, I believe like Caruso is just getting back into form of play. Unless Demar goes off for forty each game, the Bucks got this easily. The Cavs and the Knickerbockers, I'm not even going to lie to you, this might be like a, like, like every game might be like worth watching low-key. This might be a seven-game nail-biting series. I'm going to give the edge here to the Cavaliers only because of Mitchell. I think Mitchell's going to take over. He had like 71 points this NBA season. The Cavs take this in game seven off of the game winner. I'm calling that out right now, bro. I think the Cavs take this off. It's going to come down to the wire. You know what I'm saying? I think this is a really evenly matched team. It's going to be one of the more... Uh, more fun playoff matches to watch. I don't even know why this is even like possible to even happen. The Sixers and the Nets. This is gonna be a sweep, bro. Embiid is gonna be having. I even hate to admit to give him credit. Embiid is gonna be having a field day. It's gonna be feeling like a little kid in a candy shop. Embiid is going for 50 and 10 rebounds every single game. The Nets may just win one game if they're lucky. This is gonna go to no more than five games. And then whoever decides this one right here, Miami ATL. I got Miami. Miami's more of a solid overall around the team. The Hawks only really have younger Trey and uh, Murray DeJounte. Trey Young always flops in the playoffs and just doesn't know what goes on in the playoffs. And just, I don't know what goes on with Trey Young in the playoffs. Just, they're not going to win against it. This might even be a blowout game. And then I got the Heat and the Celtics going near uh, six to seven games. This might be another good series, potentially two of the Heat play the Celtics. Um, but I have the Celtics. Just edging out, and I think it'll be the Bucks versus the Celtics and the Eastern Conference Finals. I think it can go up to seven games. I'm not even going to lie to you. As much as I hate to admit this, I think the Celtics might just get back into the Finals again this year. I don't think the Bucks have enough hunger to get into the Finals, bro. Because the reason why I say that is a couple goes going to come out to play but you got to remember, like, the rest of, like, the teammates are not a kunk bro. They can only do so much. You know what I'm saying? The Celtics got decent defense. Probably going to have everybody playing, bro. I think this the Bucks and the Celtics goes up to seven games. And then the Celtics edge out the Bucks, bro. And then go right back to the finals. All right? So now, obviously, you know who I'm going to obviously pick. But I'll break it down to my own prediction. You know what I'm saying? I think these Thunder um, are, are, no, 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 no. The Pelicans are going to win, excuse me. And then they, they face the, um, the, the, the Nuggets. The Nuggets... Come on, that's not even going to be a conversation. That might be five games at most. Sweep. That's easy. The Phoenix Buns and the Clippers. I'm not even going to lie to you. That might be, all right, decent series. It'd go up to six games at most. Maybe seven games if Kawhi and Bones and Westbrook go off. I think there's going to be there's gonna be decent controversy in there, too. Um, but I think the uh, the Phoenix Buns takes this by an edge. And then you got the, um, you got the, 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 the Kings and the Warriors. Um, come on. Warriors sweeping that. And then the Lakers, I got them playing the Grizzlies. That would, that's going to be the only tough one right there. Grizzlies and Lakers. That's going to be the only one. Grizzlies and Lakers. That's a tough one. I ain't even going to lie to you. I ain't even going to lie to you. I might just take the Lakers. If it was last season... If it was last season, I'm definitely taking the Grizzlies in five games. Grizzlies, I think he can go up to seven games. I think the Lakers might just edge him out. And the reason why I'm saying is the Lakers kind of look a little bit hot going into the playoffs, as much as I hate to admit it. They do look a little bit hot going into the playoffs. <clears throat> All right. And then you got the – um, and then you have uh, the Nuggets uh, versus the Buns. I think the uh, the the Phoenix Buns, as long as everybody stays healthy, they got that against the Nuggets. If not, the Nuggets got it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna call for the Suns to get some good health and everything, and they're gonna end up beating the Nuggets. And then you guys know what happened with the Warriors when they uh, 
face the Lakers when it's the real situations matter. I think the Lakers, I mean, the Warriors are going to take the Lakers easily. Six games, maybe seven games. And then you got the, and then they, what, play the, uh, the Suns next, the Phoenix Buns? It'll be six games. And then the Warriors right back in the finals. I think it's going to be Warriors versus the Celtics 2023 NBA Finals matchup once again. <coughs> You're welcome for that free parlay. Free bracket, everything. Warriors and Celtics 2023 NBA playoffs once again. The only way the Celtics don't get in is if um, they get injuries. But I think it's going to be a repeat of last year. Uh, Warriors taking in seven games. It's like the um, it's like the Lakers versus Celtics when they was continuously going back to the uh, finals like it was back in the day. Or even like the Pistons and uh, what was it? The Pistons and uh, the Spurs. I think honestly, bro. No bullshit. I think the Warriors and the Celtics are going to be in the finals for like the next two years, bro. <laughs> Let's be honest. So, hey, man, that's my prediction. Uh, what what a chance to say the rest of this too? I think the Cavs win in seven versus the Knicks. The Bucks sweep. And the Celtics, if they come up against the Heat, that'll be tough. But they should handle business there. And then on the other side in the West, we've got Phoenix Clippers. I think Phoenix in five. Sacramento versus Golden State. I've got Golden State in six. There you go. And then the other ones, it really depends who plays who. I think LA or Timberwolves could definitely beat the Grizzlies. That'll be a great matchup either way. And then I think Denver are also a beatable number one seed. So if they get come up against the Lakers or a Timberwolves, even a Pelicans, that'll be a great series. Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, uh, Warriors got this with ease.